hold on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring in some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. <laughs> Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell you leave. So, this TikTok came out a minute ago, but um, I'm going to go ahead and react to it because I didn't say nothing then. Uh, let's just get it. Let's get it. Oh, before we even get to it, honestly, I was confused about it. So I'm going to just watch it before I even tell y'all what it really is. But basically, uh, watch. Hey! <laughs> hey! Uh, what's up, boy? <laughs> what you do, take a class? Good class, so, so is, is, you, is you surprised? Kind of. You ain't no kind of surprise. Was it worth the wait? Yes, yeah, alright. Uh, <laughs> love you. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you better gonna come this way. Did you even suspect it, Gregory? Did you suspect it? You, you, Gregory? Mm mm. What you saying? Did you even suspect it? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Yeah. So in every. Okay, that was part. Okay, five. so I. Hold on, cause this I need to find the part. Okay. I have to find where part one is, obviously. But why can't I just go to your... Yeah, this was a month ago. So where is your... Okay, here it is. Part three, part... Okay, okay. Period. Okay, so I got like three minutes on my break. So I, I gotta get y'all caught up quick. Basically... When I was coming to Arkansas for that surprise, I didn't know that I was coming for a surprise. I was kind of just told that there was going to be a family event to go to, and I was invited, basically. And I like to look good, so that's why I came in that outfit. I wasn't wearing that outfit for those reasons that y'all are trying to say. That's weird. But anyway, so... I get down to Arkansas at the time I was staying in Texas and I had been here for like a night got dressed all that boom 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 whatever before my dad showed up I was actually in the bathroom getting dressed and um, my grandpa came over to the bathroom and he had been walking back and forth a little bit kind of making little comments here all right making little slick comments basically going like well you know your granny out um going to get your daddy basically he didn't say it like that but he was alluding to that now mind you he's like in his 70s so he he just be talking sometimes he just be talking child so most time i don't really be listening i'm just still in makeup i'm in, in the mirror getting ready or whatever but i just keep hearing him make comments about my dad and i had already kind of felt like this might be a surprise thing but he been in jail for 20 years so i'm like no that can't be it so anyway y'all he ends up walking past the bathroom and he just like uh yeah because you know your granny going to go pick up your daddy right now First of so all, he really ruined the <laughs> i didn't even say anything at the fact that that nigga said what up boy <laughs> prize but in the video that's why i kind of was, was surprised but i wasn't surprised but yeah so once I got done with my makeup, I started hearing my name get called, and I'm telling the people to hold on, give me a sec, I'm washing my hands, and they just keep yelling my name. And I've gotten this comment so much, do y'all not wash your hands? Like, y'all don't know what soap look like? But yeah, that was definitely soap. And for you weirdos trying to make it sexual, what's wrong with y'all? Do y'all want to fuck? Oh, God. So yeah, then I come busting out the bathroom, my hands covered in soap, because I didn't get to wash them off, because they kept yelling my name, basically. And once I got out there and I seen my dad, of course I was happy, but it was still like a shock because I felt like it was going to happen, but I didn't know for sure. I don't know what the so problem is. I'm confused. I go to hug him or whatever, and it was 
awkward, but that's kind of because I'm awkward. Like, I'm a little um, antisocial in general, so I don't really be hugging folks like that anyway. And also, I hugged him like that over his arms, because, bitch, like, I had fucking soap on my hands. Like, what do you expect from me? But anyway, so... I give him the hug or whatever, cool, cool, cool. After the hug in the video, he goes to mingle with other people. Of course, he just got home. I get it, I get it. So for the people that are trying to act like I'm doing too much or like I'm reading too much into things, let me tell you this. I have two half brothers and two half sisters and my brothers ended up coming over that same day after the video and he just all in their face all in their kids face because my one of those has kids or whatever all in the kids face cool cool i didn't even know that before he came and surprised me i wasn't his first stop even though i was his biggest supporter basically out of all the kids that went to see him i'm the one that has been the most for my 20 years of my life nobody else has been there as many times as me to go visit him yeah, so I kind of felt like it was weird that I wasn't the first stop for him to come see. He went to go oh, see my brother God. and his kids. And so this was cool. You went to see the brother and the kids, but why are you now giving them all your attention? So I waited all day, y'all. I didn't I don't want to be a bitch. I waited all day to that night and I tried to have a conversation or something with him and he was still being kind of dry and trying to go pretty much hang out with his little friends. So I ended up talking to my aunt about the shit, basically saying, I ain't gonna lie, he grown as hell. Uh, oh, I don't know how old he is. You know what? Because between my 20s, I was having mommy and daddy issues with my, uh, as far as shit like this. Then it was kind of hurting oh, my yeah. feelings that I came all this way. Like I drove hours to come see you, I done called off of work and some more shit, oh. and you just sitting here ignore me, basically, like, what the fuck, I could've just stayed at home, like, I done sit here and called off of work, I'm not getting my money, I could've stayed at home, so, I ended up pulling him to the side that night to talk to him about it, and, honestly, the conversation wasn't, it, it, it didn't, it didn't go anywhere, he basically was acting as though he was listening, which I appreciate, but he didn't really change anything. Like, he kind of understood how I felt like I was being neglected, basically. And he wasn't paying me no attention. But come the next day, I kind of glazed over the talk that we had. So let me specify. Basically, yeah, I'm like, I brought up to him that I felt some type <laughs> so of way. And somewhere in the mix, my mom, who was also there at the um, function or whatever, she came outside and I ended up talking to her instead of him. It was a year ago, so it was a little slightly fuzzy. But I ended up talking to her instead of him and I explained to her how I felt. So then my mom ended up talking to my dad herself and I kind of just stepped over to the side to do my thing, get a little something to drink, calm my nerves. And so by the time they got done talking, he wanted to come and talk to me. At this point, I was a little tipsy, so we kind of talked, but we didn't really have like a full-fledged conversation. Um, and then I went to bed. And then the next day is what I'm talking about. There wasn't really much of any kind of conversation. Um, so yeah, he really the next day, know. I had I a dog at him. the time. And my granny had said that she wanted to um, give the dog a bath. So um, I think that my dad ended up saying that he wanted to give the dog a bath because he likes dogs, basically. And so he woke me up and he asked about giving the dog a bath. So I'm thinking, okay, this is like a little bonding moment. Maybe we can do a little something, have a conversation. I don't know. So I go out to help him wash the dog. I got on bullshit. And um, we washing the dog or whatever. There really isn't any kind of conversation happening. Like I'm trying to bring up things here and there, like movies, TV shows, music, all kinds of shit, y'all. And it's like he not giving me anything to go off of. He don't anything. give a damn. So we get done washing the dog and that's it. That was that. I go to put on an outfit because um, my dad said that he wanted to go bowling uh, uh, that day. He wants to go bowling with everybody basically. And um, he was going to invite my brothers and all of that too. So I went to go get dressed and I had on like this white bell bottom pair of uh, jeans that had like a little... 
a little high waisted moment to it. And this, what's it called? A halter top, basically. Like it was a pink top that strapped across my chest like that. And then it tied up in the back. And it had like belled out arms with like little pink frills on the end. I've never worn that outfit because this day when I fucking put it on, I got compliments from my aunt, compliments from my cousin. I go um, in front of my dad because he was in the shower when I had started putting it on. I go in front of him and he he didn't say shit. He didn't say anything bad. He didn't say anything good. He didn't make a face per se. He just didn't say nothing. It's your best bet that your daddy ain't saying nothing. Like, <laughs> we don't care, Cinderella. <laughs> ah, this bitch threw me all the way off. Hold on one second. I gotta get back. <laughs> I didn't remember what I was talking about. Oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why he thought his daddy was about to be like, oh, you look fine as hell, son. <laughs> or like, you look beautiful, son. Maybe he really didn't like your damn outfit. <laughs> my daddy would have been like, oh, you got that on? That's what my daddy say to not, to like, to not be rude, thinking he not being rude, but it's rude as hell. Like, oh, damn, you wearing that? <laughs> Oh, all right. Y'all ready? <laughs> My brother was there as well. He already be acting weird, so he didn't say shit. Ugh. So I just put on a second outfit. Not change your outfit. Yeah. So when everybody else gave me like compliments or whatever, and he just kind of didn't do anything. Why would he change his it's outfit? It's any bad vibes, bad energy. As a Pisces, I can read energy. Pisces, I thought you was a fucking Aquarius. But yeah. I'm not changing my outfit. It gets worse. Bitch. Oh, so you think I that's worse? To not say nothing? Friend, if your daddy ain't gay and your daddy don't like the gay shit and he already treating you, well, he ain't saying nothing to you, you need to shut the fuck up. You need to go mind the business that pays you. Let me tell y'all something. Love my daddy to death. Okay. He ain't the biggest fan of the gay thing, but he understand. You know, I, I'm going to do what I got to do. When I go to family functions, baby, I get Airbnbs. When I go to family functions, I get hotels. Um, Halfway, might not even go to the function, just go to the city. You know what I'm saying? Speak, yo, kick it for a second. I'm outside. I don't, mm-mm. I don't like discomfort. I don't like certain conversations. I'm okay with certain things. You ain't gotta you ain't gotta fucking uh like my outfit. You don't have to accept me either, cause I'm gonna do me regardless. You know what I mean? And I put on another outfit. And if you right, ever Mari. had a parent just like shit on your outfit. Oh, you or got that on as worse. Oh no, like, I know. You know. I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so oh you got that on is bad. What I mean is, it was better for your daddy not to say shit than even say, oh, you got that on, is what I'm saying. Yeah, it is that. worse. You're you right. sure you want to shit like that? You know what I mean? Like, that just ruins the whole mood, bitch. I don't even want to wear this shit no more. So, basically, oh, I changing filters and shit. changed the outfit, and I came back out in this outfit right here. And oh, have y'all never heard the saying, everything is not what it seems? Yeah, so when everybody yeah. else gave me shit on your outfit or just question you, like, are you sure you're going to wear that? Are you sure you want to shit like that? You know what I mean? Like, that is energy. As a Pisces, I can read energy, bitch. Mm -hmm. So I took that outfit off, and yeah, I put cool. on right. another outfit. And if y'all have ever had a parent just, like, I took on shit on your outfit or just question you, like, are you sure you're going to wear that? Are you sure you want to shit like that? You know what I mean? Like, that just ruins the whole... Nah, I peeped this shit. My daddy already ain't been talking to me in the first place. 
So, bitch, I'm not going bowling. What? I don't have to put on the outfit. Or I don't have to put on the outfit for y'all event. But while y'all go bowling, I'm going to be at the gay club. <laughs> that That's me all day. We don't have to do the, y'all. If you young and, or older and your parents not accepting you all that shit, fuck them folks. You got to live for you. You know what I'm saying? So wear your outfit, wear your rainbow, you know what I'm saying? Live how the hell you want to live. Because they live their life, you got to live yours. Fuck them folks. Daddy, mama, um, fuck all them. That is me all day, every day. Okay? Now, respectfully, because I love my people, you know what I'm saying? However, you'll never, you'll never make me uncomfortable again. So I've already experienced certain things. I've never experienced it again. I'm done. We done with the family function. First of all, I done came late. I'm not coming before time. I'm not coming before everybody. Uh, I'm late. I'm staying there for, you know what I'm saying, a little couple one, two. Bitch, I'm out. I don't even need to stay there too long. I don't need long-winded conversations. Um, You know, let's eat. Let's enjoy, you know what I'm saying, what's going on and shit. I'm out. Get your own Airbnbs. The reason why you was in that situation because you was staying with whoever it was. And you traveled there to stay. No, 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 no. Travel there. Get your own hotel. Get your own Airbnb. Fuck that. Girl, I would have been, I would have been in Arkansas doing Arkansas so shit. You know what I'm saying? For real. Move, bitch. I don't even want to wear this shit no more. Where so, man, I'm not taking on basically, my outfit. Basically, <laughs> I my outfit at all. Changed the outfit, and I came back out in this outfit right here. And he was like, oh, yeah, I like that more. That's more my speed or some shit like that. And basically said that I should wear more things like this outfit right here. Mm -hmm. And don't get me wrong. I eat all my outfits up, bitch. Don't do that. Okay. But my issue is you didn't say anything at all when it was the pink outfit that I felt comfortable in that everybody else said that they liked. But then when I put this outfit on, yes, you complimented me. No, you didn't say anything rude, but you did make it a point to say that you prefer these kinds of outfits versus... Okay, so do you want him to talk or do you not want him to talk? That's my whole point. Like, he ain't really say shit, wasn't really talking to me. That's a great thing. Y'all, when you have a parent that don't like the gay shit, but they, they deal with it as much as they can, I'm dead ass serious, bro. <laughs> like, you want them to talk, but you don't want them to talk. Nah, it's best that they shut the fuck up. Do you hear me? Girl, I would have walked out there prancing. Mm -mm. Okay. Oh, you look so nice. Oh, you look so nice. Except him and except my brothers. Fuck them niggas. I don't need y'all. I'm okay. First of all, I'm supposed to like it first. That's one person. And if I had two, uh, two other people say it, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Or not at all. Because I don't give a damn. This is what I was wearing at first, basically. Like, that's shady. It's shady as fuck. But if you don't want to see it, you ain't got to see it. But anyway, so we ended up going to the little bowling place or whatever later that night. And, um, well, actually, actually, the bowling shit got pushed back way late, like probably an hour or an hour and a half later than it was supposed to because he went to go to a dinner with, like, some friends of his. Once again, prioritizing the friends and those people over the family and people that have been here for you. Those people were not there at all, but whatever. And so since his dinner ended up running over so much time, the bowling got pushed back. Mind you, I had taken off of work to be here on this whole day or whatever, and I had to go back to work like the next day. Really, I had to be at work the day that this bowling shit was going on, but I had called in or whatever. So I couldn't stay all night. I had to make a- And why the hell would you call in again? Well, I didn't know you ha didn't have to stay again. I was out after the whole transaction. Hey, uh, nice to see you. All right. I'm going to holler at y'all. I'm not fucking staying. We trip <laughs> back to Texas, so we ended up really just going uh, to the bowling alley it. just to take these these pictures that you see here and I left literally when I got there he was mingling with the people there or whatever I came in 
my sister got his attention. We ended up going outside to get some pictures or whatever. And I basically said, bye. He went back in to go talk to the people. And that was it. Uh, after that, he would call my sister on the phone every now and again. Really, like, more than once a week. But he would call her. They would chat it up or whatever. I didn't get no phone calls. Um, shit like that. It's like little microaggressions. Y'all don't have if I got some more questions, about. just ask me, bitch. But it's definitely an What's issue. Microaggressions. Have y'all never heard the saying, everything is not what it seems? Like, I can't be the only one, bitch. Just because it looked like he feels some type of good, positive nah, I energy. Feel that shit was fake. First off, baby, how are you trans and you don't know what non binary is? Because I know you read my fucking caption. Make it make sense. Secondly, don't do that. Don't do that. Dude, don't be no goon. Like a gay coon. Girl, That's exactly what that is. A goon. Because how are you going to be trans and come in for me? For being me? And you know everybody going to be coming for you? Uh, girl, what sense does that make? I ain't even got to go into it that deep because you look dumb. Okay. Okay, so this sound is for anyone who... Alright. Well, um... I just feel as though uh, everybody ain't here to accept you, y'all. Y'all got to know that shit. And everybody is family, okay? They at the top of the list. Child, you'll be accepted from a damn stranger more than you'll be accepted from your family. I know. But uh, y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.